Hey guys, Cardmaster Phoenix here, coming at you with a pure Beast Deity deck profile. Um, it's kind of important that um, in certain decks, especially in a deck like this, uh, that you run a pure build, and by that I mean you use cards with only the namesake of a certain category slash archetype. This one, of course, being Beast Deities. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, however, before I do get into it, I will go ahead and tell you guys that the formatting and the way I made this deck is a bit different from my usual decks, so you guys tell me down in the comments below if you like this format or the other format I had better. Anyway, our starting vanguard, uh, is of course Beast Deity Riot Horn. Basically, to put it in in modern day terms, it's the OG of uh, it's the OG version of Rumble. Uh, basically, whenever a unit is in column as it stands, stand it. Um, I mean, it's it's a great card. Sets up many combos. It, it there really is no other starter you should be using, um, or at least not if you're intending to play, uh, competitively. Moving on, we do, of course, have 16 triggers, um, 4 crit, uh, Beast Deity Death Stinger, um, we don't have a, we don't have a put it in the soul 4k, draw a card 5k to the vanguard, uh, so this is pretty much as good as we get, but it's alright. Um, the standards are too good in this deck, however, I don't you generally employ this tactic because again, I tend to prefer the uh, like say they just let it, an attack go through. You're going through your drive checks. It's a critical trigger. Okay. Well, you give the power to a rear guard, which makes it harder to guard, and the vanguard is guaranteed to deal more damage. And there's no way to prevent that since they already declared no guard. Or alternatively, you could just do it to rear guard because point is I doubt they can be guarding the waves of attacks that this deck can throw out. Um, but this is the one, uh, because a stand is just, oh, you stand rear guard power there, and it's a 5 to 10 shield to nullify the other attack. So anyway, I just prefer crits over stands, but in this deck, especially with the support, we got in GBT04, I believe it was. Um, but again, I'm just completely going off a of guesstimate there. Anyway, um, we do want eight stand triggers. We got four Beast Deity Bright Cobra. We're just making use of this because A, it is a Beast Deity namesake card, and it serves its use for getting stands and making columns and whatnot. Um, Beast Deity Great Eater, this is, uh, again, it, the the set gives great support. Uh, it stands. You can use it as a lock target or just use it for its effect. It's 4K stand trigger, 10K shield. Um, you put this unit into on the top of your deck, and when other and when an, when any other rear guard beast deity in its name stands, which again the entire deck during your battle phase, you can shuffle your deck and draw a card. So uh, it's basically the stand the standard special critical effects that now every clan has so I like it uh also standing is not a problem because the pressure still is just the same as a critical because uh you can stand a hatred chaos and then you'll stand the right horn too it's just it, it's crazy with the combos you can make um, for the four heal triggers, I mean, it's rescue money because it's heal, namesake, we'll take the win. Anyway, uh, we have 14 grade ones, we have four, and, um, you'll notice I do this throughout the video, um, whenever you see that little, uh, I, I'm now putting multiple cards, as you see right there, there, and there, um, I will always put cards that I run the same amount of together, like I'm running four, four, and four. Hence, there's the four there, so I'm just putting all, all of these on the same page because it is all on the, uh, well, all, we're running the same amount, so 
why not say four for all three of these and separately say we're running four copies three different times, you know? Uh, Marsh is the Vanguard booster, just because he we don't have a good booster for the Vanguard. Uh, it's important that he's really just the Vanguard booster only, because you better be using stuff like Max Beats and whatnot for the other rearguard circle. Um, because Max help with, helps with the columns, and the PG is just, I mean, it's obvious. Um, it is a Beast Deity PG, and also, this can be used to guard rear guard attacks if you need it. Um, so it's also pretty helpful. Moving on, we have two, we are only running two copies of Beast Deity Desert Gator, because he's only so useful as a second turn attacker for the 10k, and sometimes we'll go first, so it'll be worthless. Making this guy pretty much the main uh, G1 ride target. Or uh, that between either that or um, the blank marsh. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, the. Uh, the Solar Falcon, of course, being a PG Max beat, is what I call a back bleacher unit for the backup grade one ride. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is all my notes here are out of date because this is this was before stride format, so, um, yeah. Um, I consider Max beat a back bleacher unit because it should pretty much only be used for, uh, you know, being in the back bleachers, the back row, you know, anyway, um, and, yeah, um, Desert Gator is either your main G-Run rider, or he's your second turn frontliner, um, meaning, of course, he's just on the front lines, aka front row, uh, during the second turn, your backup grade one ride is BC to Blank Marsh, Desert, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Max Beat, of course, is the MVP grade one on the deck. He's just awesome. Um, anyway, moving on to grade twos, we run ten. We have four copies of Hatred Chaos and four of Brainy Papio. They're both uh, Hatred is a great card, but uh, Papio is an even better rear guard. I recommend having Hatred Chaos on uh, one column and say a ma and say right horn behind it and brainy papio and max be behind it just cuz that's an ideal uh little setup with a uh, for a field and of course you'll want the vanguard booster being uh blank marsh um but yeah that's pretty much it uh the mvp of the deck that is a grade 2 of course brainy papio um and then Age of Chaos is just a 12k attacker. Then we run two more, um, Beast Deity DM Leos. Um, he's the main target for a GT ride for great defense, easy guards, and he's just your main ride target, so, yeah. Moving on to the grade threes, we have, of course, nine. Um, you'll notice throughout certain decks I do that whenever I'm running more than just the main vanguard and they in the backup vanguard, I will usually run, um, in some decks, I run three different grade threes, so I'll just go with three of each, which I did this, uh, for this deck as well, just multiple, uh, grade threes, all running them an equal amount across all the cards. Ethics Buster should be your first ride, because he's the limit break. Uh, he's the limit break slash break rider. When Buster Extreme rides him, he gains 10k in all your front row wheel guard stands, including <coughs> um, my horn, excuse me there, because he'll stand as well. And then that will make the 3k, um, <coughs> and then, <coughs> of course, that will mean that you'll get a extra 3k off Hatred Chaos' skill and an extra 5 when being boosted by uh, the starter set 17. Um, and then, of course, 
when it's boosted, it's another 2K, so that being boosted by a um, Blank Marsh plus a skill 20K swing, it's pretty good. And then of course, uh, when you do pull a grade 3 or greater, um, I'm sorry, grade 1 or greater, Beast Deity in its card name, you can stand one of your Nova Grappler Rear Guard sets an amazing limit break. And he's 13K base as the cross ride. Uh, Ethics Buster Reverse, it's Limit Break, Kennel Blast 2, and um, then you discard two cards from your hand. Kennel Block, Limit Break, Limit Break, discard two, I mean, Kennel, I'm sorry, Limit Break, Kennel Blast 2, discard two, and lock one of your, uh, no, I'm sorry, two of your Nova Grappler Rear Guards. So it's kind of expensive as for the cost, but it it's worth it, trust me. Because when this unit uh, attacked a vanguard, a vanguard at the end of the battle, he stands and it can't, of course, be used for the rest of the turn. Um, this is just insane. Okay, you got, yeah, um, and of course, and he also has the 13k cross ride for Ethics Buster. Um, when you got, uh, your main field setup will be, uh, of course, say you have Ethics Buster on your Vanguard Circle, and then, um, you have a le uh, left column consisting of Hatred Chaos and Right Horn, you always want those two guys in the same column, Brainy Papio and, uh, uh, God, I forgot his name already. Uh, Max Beat in the second uh, column, whether it be the right column or the left column, it doesn't matter, really. Um, and, of course, your center column being the vanguard you're currently on, and then, of course, the blank marsh boosting it. Um, so, say we ride into Ethics Buster Extreme. We break ride, that's 10,000 power. So, that's 21,000 and then we swing with the with we swing with both rear guards first. So uh we'll say nine plus three that's twelve plus five that's seventeen. So between boosting with Riot Horn and Hage of Chaos of Skill at seventeen thousand attacking the Vanguard. That's of course a ten K guard. There's attack number one. Then you use uh max beat to boost Papio at 16, they'll have to throw down another 10k shield because there's no way they're going to let that on hit pressure occur. And then you'll swing 28, no, I'm sorry, you'll be swinging 11, 13, 20, 30,000 with the Vanguard. Then you'll stand Hage of Chaos, and then of course with that skill, so will your right horn and then of course you'll also get Brady Papio and then you'll counter blast one and then Max Beat Skill Golf will stand him. You can then do the same thing for another uh two attacks because you're already at attack number three, but we still are going through the Vanguard and then say you pull uh criticals or stands or whatever, you can just stand whatever's left. So you can easily make five attacks a turn. Using reverse, you get six, two of them being the vanguard. Uh, it's it's insane. And then, say you get two more stands, that's another eight full powered column. Like, that's eight attacks with full columns each time, which is just insane. Um, so, yeah. Um, then, moving on to the G4s, we only run eight. Uh, four of the ethic, uh, Ultimate Beast Deity, Ethics Buster Catastrophe. We really have all the power we need in the deck. I mean, can you honestly say that when the deck first came out, that you did not think this was this deck was ridiculous? I'm telling you, if you thought that this deck was not crazy ridiculous when it first came out, you're lying, because everybody thought that. Um, so we have all the power we need in the deck already, but Stride, since it is support, and it has a namesake plus, um, he just overall gives an amazing skill, um, 
when you have the heart of the um, grade three with ethics. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just ethics or if it's beastie. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, you run that. Uh, as for the G Guardians, of course, we have two metal element screw you. Uh, just just discard one. Uh, as long as you've used at least one stride, he's 25,000. So, great for defense, dismal in cases of emergency, to protect your uh, Papio, and to um, make him not be, and make either the other one or him or whoever you want unkillable by effects. So, yeah, even the Feet Flare got nothing on that. Um,. Anyway, guys, we are now going to go over some of the combos and card choices I've made. Um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Um, starting off, uh, your first G3 ride or break ride, of course, should be Ethics Buster. Extreme should be your cross ride or main grade 3 ride. And, of course, you just have that 3 extra Ethics Buster verse if you really want it. Um... Yeah. Um. So, as for some just side notes for the deck, the pure deck build is, uh, really only in the main deck, but, um, I mean, the only two, the only four cards in the deck that, um, aren't for, um, defense, of course, are. Uh, uh, I mean, the only four cards in the deck that don't have the beast to name is, of course, the two G Guardians, which you see now. Um, yeah. I do recommend that you build a pure deck, especially if it's a deck like this. Regardless of um, any builds you might have seen, like, you shouldn't be going off purely other builds people have made because that's just net decking and that's bad for the environment in the game overall. Um... But especially a deck like this, because it just, it's so consistent and it helps so much. Um, but especially regardless, uh, I mean, especially in this build, honestly I'd say regardless in just any build, but whatever. Um, I mean, it also pretty much saves money since you're not running too many expensive cards. Um, we're not running any of the... G zone also because this is a semi budget deck. Um, yeah, um, I'm just purely making this so that new people have a good deck and a uh, like a good semi meta deck along with a deck that they can actually afford. Um, I'm just having I'm just having this video be a fresh guide for players, guiding them through builds for their favorite clans. Uh, directions to start in, because all my deck profiles have strategies, um, and strategies, hand samples, card samples, uh, being like field samples, I, I do that in all my deck profiles, um, all my decks are completely homemade, I do not net deck from anyone, I mean, if you're try hard and you want to go look through everybody's deck profile, Go ahead. I mean, you're not gonna see a, you're not gonna see a card for card on that deck because I'm not that kind of person. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, the only reason I uh, oh. um, anyway, we do have some honorable mentions. We have Jackalord, Dragatrist. They couldn't make the list. Uh. Because they're just, they weren't good enough. Um, maybe I'll add them in, in some point in the future, and I'll make an update if I feel it's necessary. Um, also, Frogmaster, Horned, Ho Horned Hulk. Um, Frog, I mean, don't run it in more than two, in my opinion, if you really want to run it. I don't get the point in tapping a 7k unit just to get 5k, or uh, I don't know. Um, Horned Hulk, um, you know, 
Um, just like with like enabler enablers, they shouldn't be on it more than two. Again, room was tight. I feel it was more whatever situation than the ratio to ability will ever get off or mainly be as one of me, so yeah, I just cut them out. Um Yeah. All in all I just feel a chance you being at grade three without four damage. Not much po not really possible. Plus it's just too cloggy if you have that many strat enablers. Uh that being more than two. I mean um yeah, I believe that pretty much, uh, I believe that pretty much covers most of things, um, of course, we do have other card choices, Riot versus Jackal, I just right because it sands mid-battle, Jackal is not really worth it, uh, he's better than White Tiger because it's just, he's more of an Azure Dragon Ride Chain or build kind of deck use, um, And, yeah, that's, uh, about all. If you really, really want to see a full combo video and everything, go ahead and ask me in the comment section, because I have it linked through all my devices, so I'll be pretty much instantly notified, regardless of what device I'm using, so that's just the best way to get to me. Um, also, for business inquiries, you can... Email me at duelingcharisma at gmail .com. Um, I also have a Skype, but again, the best, best way to, uh, know, uh, to get in touch with me is, of course, the YouTube comment section, because it'll notify me whether I'm on my iPad, my phone, my, um, I think even the PS4, um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the new format, thank you again for just Allowing some idiot like me to perform in front of people like you. Um, if you didn't like the deck build, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Thank you sincerely again for just being the straight up best audience on YouTube. This has been Cardmaster Phoenix. Thank you all. Signing out. Have a good day.